Uh, these two uh, were in the range of $65. Uh, this is Manukora UMF 20 Plus and MGO 830 Plus. Uh, along with the New Zealand Honey Company, about $65 on Amazon. Uh, I found this surprising uh, that the Egmont, uh, this one was about $70, $71 maybe seventy two dollars I'm not sure exactly but I like the fact that um, these uh, provide you or at least they're, they're supposed to provide you with a, a way to trace uh, the authenticity of their Manuka honey uh, they all have websites and I was able to confirm uh, the Manukora and the New Zealand Honey Company for their authenticity uh, through their website. I wasn't able to do it with uh, Egmont. I went through their website. I didn't find anything that um, would enable me to confirm their batch number. As you can see, batch number. This one also, the New Zealand Honey Company, has a batch number here. You key it in on their website and it gives you a confirmation certificate of some type, notification. Uh, the same thing uh, with the Manukora. Now, actually, the way I did this with the Manukora is that um, I held my smartphone as if I'm about to take a... a a photo of this code and it provided me with a link automatically uh, I tapped it and it took me to their website and um, it was confirmed yeah these um, products are legitimate you know a lot of people you know they're they are concerned about that they want to make sure that it's not some fake manuka some fake honey out there uh, trying to pass off as manuka honey uh, so I think that's good uh, of course, I didn't buy it directly from their company, from their website. I bought it through Amazon. Uh, like I said, it's about 65 with these two, about 71, 72 with this. All right, so I like the fact that all three of these companies are providing with, uh, they're, they're using two, um, two grading systems in determining their antibacterial properties of their honey. UMF 20 plus and the MGO 830. UMF 20 plus, MGO 829 plus, and UMF 20 plus, MGO 829. Let me show you the inside of the Manukara. If you don't see a whole lot of honey in it, in it is because I've already, <laughs> I've already <laughs> been uh, consuming the product. This is thicker, and thick. As you can tell, I am not using, uh, no longer using metal spoons consume my honey it's uh, uh, I found out that over if you overexposed uh, manuka honey to uh, stainless steel or just metal spoons uh, it tends to destroy uh, the antibacterial properties of the manuka honey I don't know at what rate or I don't know all the specifics behind it but that's what I was able to find out uh, that it does uh, it tends to destroy it if you overexpose it. So, uh, what I'm using now is porcelain. <laughs> uh, I could have used wooden spoons uh, or plastic spoons, but I don't like those very much. So, uh, I just want to show you the Manukora and how thick it is. This is the thickest of the three. 
to give you an idea of how thick it is. Oh, and I'm making a mess while I'm at it. <laughs> Oh well. That's the Manukora. And we will try now the New Zealand Honey Company, Manuka Honey. This is definitely not as thick. And finally, the Egmont. On screen, uh, the color you're seeing is a sort of orange, bright orange. In reality, that's you know the way it looks on camera. Um, but this is a uh, more than anything. Um, it's a light brown. And I guess while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and um, give you a taste description of the Egmont. Although pretty tasty, it's also got a strong taste. Easily you can say that it's got a, if you had to describe it somehow, um, of course very sweet, um, tasty, although it's got a sort of like a medicinal taste to it. Let's see with the New Zealand Honey Company. They're practically the same color, all three of them. Let me go ahead and taste this. This one is, is tastier. It doesn't much have a medicinal taste to it. I can I can taste it a little bit medicinal like but not as strong as the um, Egmont. And the Manukora, the thicker of the three honeys. Wow, less medicinal taste, less medicinal like taste to it than the other two. Uh, I can I can taste the uh, it's like um it's sweet sweeter and tastes like a flowery type of taste to it. It's actually tastier than these are the two. The New Zealand Honey Company tastes better, to, of course, to me, than the Egmont, but the Manukora tastes better than the other two. Um, and it's actually this one uh, has an MGO of 830 plus, <clears throat> um, which is supposedly higher. You know, I, I'm not exactly sure I can in detail how they get to 830. Um, all three of them being UMF 20 plus, um, which if, if you go to uh, the New Zealand Honey uh, Company website, um, 
they have a chart where they uh, they list, they compare uh, how equivalent one is to the other. So, for example, if uh, if you look at UMF twenty, it's supposed to be MGO eight twenty nine. Uh, but notice that they all have UMF twenty plus, which tends to suggest that it's higher than just 20, right? Maybe 21, 22. But um, going looking at their chart, UMF 21 um, is actually MGO 899. UMF 22 is MGO 971. So maybe the 20 the plus after the 20 means 20 point something instead of 21 or 22 uh, you know that's what i conclude <laughs> but that's what it is it's very interesting uh, there's uh they even uh, note that the say for example umf 25 is 1200 mgo and they even have a 31.90 umf which was which would be MGO 1800. Wow, who knew? <laughs> wow. So, of course, you know, the higher in numbers their grading systems um, are, the more medicinal, the more antibacterial, the more antimicrobial uh, their honey is. The healthier, the better. And the more expensive, of course. So, uh, the smell, well, you know, not much difference at all in the smell between the three. It's just in the taste. I find that the Manukora is uh, superior in all these factors that I've mentioned to you. Uh, I am surprised that the Egmont was uh, that expensive at $71, $72 compared to the other two, $64, uh, $65. So uh, there it is. Um, I was able to, to trace these two. Not yet on this one, but I'm sure I'll uh, find a way. You know, just to give you an idea um, of what they're really like. In case you had any doubts, in case you've been on the fence about buying Manuka honey for yourself. Or maybe for someone else, if you want to make it a gift. It's a wonderful gift. Very uh, thoughtful gift to provide to someone. Medicine in its purest natural form. <laughs> it comes from bees. Who knew? <laughs> um, Visit their websites, uh, try their products. Um, if you are new to Manuka Honey and you want to start uh, trying their products, you know, start start uh, at the lower end. If you want to, you know, if you don't want to commit a lot of money into purchasing uh, honey that is uh, this expensive, you know, and mind you, this is only eight point eight ounces it's like a little bit over a cup they're all the same oh uh, one other thing I wanted to mention good thing I remembered the one thing I don't like to begin with you know I don't like the fact that it comes in plastic and for those of you who are not too familiar with uh, the safety in plastics. This um, plastic here is rated number one. I can't quite tell. I think this is also one. I already uh, gave it a, a, a good look. I think it's a one. And the Agmont is a one as well. You see it. I hope you can see it right there. Right. So. Number one, plastics are not the safest. The safest, uh, I believe, are two, four, and five. Uh, they range from one through seven. 
Um, if that's something that you are concerned about, just know that at least these three companies 